Hi, I'm Jack Aldrich, and welcome to Jump the Curve. Late last night, Google released a new application on its mobile app platform. It's voice recognition technology. It's pretty impressive technology. Let me show you how it works. Click the new uh, icon. That's a microphone up there. Zen Zizen Zizenzek. It is now searching Here it for is. it. Not sure if you can see that. Let me spin it around. There we go. Zen Zizen Zizenzek. Now, I chose this word because it's really appropriate for voice recognition technology. Zenzizen Zizenzik means anything that doubles eight times, two to the eighth power. Here's the relationship to voice recognition technology. You have to understand this technology is only going to get better in the coming decade. In fact, many of the underlying technologies of voice recognition technology are going to double at least eight times, meaning that they're that they're going to become 256 times more powerful than they are today. Computer processing power. Intel has already said in the next decade the computer processors that are behind our laptops and cell phones are going to be a thousand times more powerful. The algorithms, the data storage, bandwidth, all of these technologies are going to make voice recognition technology better. And so if you want to jump the curve, what you have to understand is as this voice recognition technology gets better, how is it going to transform some very basic functions of our lives? How is education going to change when our children can learn how to spell words like appreciate just by asking the phone? Or a math problem, what's 64 times 64? 4,096. How might healthcare change when doctors and nurses can simply take a picture of an ailment on a patient and rapidly diagnose what that disease is? Yes. How else might this technology change our lives? Here are just a couple quick examples to consider. Human relations. In my own case, I'm not the best at remembering people's names. But in the near future, I should be able to use my camera on my cell phone, snap a picture of a person, and query my device, who is that person and how do I know them? Another example? Traffic. Today you can query various websites in order to find the fastest destination from point A to B. But if you're actually in your car, it's not always that easy to do. But in the near future, using voice recognition technology, you're going to be able to query a smart device, either in your cell phone or in your car, and say, I'm at the corner of 46th and Grand. From right here, what is the quickest way to get downtown? And your device will have the answer for you. Another example is technology is going to change how we shop. Today, we can use the Internet to do price comparisons. But in the near future, you're going to be able to go into a store, for example, say you're looking for a ring for your girlfriend or your wife, and you want to know, is that ring cheaper anywhere else? You're going to be able to query your device, take a picture of the ring, and it will be able to tell you whether you're getting the best price there or if there's a cheaper price somewhere else. So those are just a couple of examples. But before I leave you, I'd really be interested in how you think that voice, te voice recognition technology is going to change your lives in the near future. I'm Jack Aldrich. Until tomorrow, remember, don't just stay ahead of the curve, jump the curve.